You can also enjoy the Milwaukee Film Festival tonight. It's virtual this year. Cassandra joining us now with the details on how everyone can uh, watch a couple of movies this weekend. You know, Steve, it's pretty awesome. It is the first time that the organization is ever screening virtual in the springtime. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. And you can stream 200 movies from your couch at home if you like. The theme is traveling around the world with a focus on showcasing diversity. And the CEO of the film Fester, uh, festival, Jonathan, Jonathan Jackson. I can talk. I can talk. Yeah, Hi, I Jonathan. know you can. He joins us today. How are you? Hi, well, I'm great. I, as you can see, I'm live here from the Oriental Theater. And yes, we are 100% virtual, and there are no goats at the theater right now. <laughs> well, you might want to do something about that. <laughs> Obviously, goats are the thing. <laughs> well, I just, I, I love yoga and I love coats and that would have been heaven or that will be heaven when I'm there this weekend. But otherwise, you can enjoy the virtual Milwaukee Film Festival running through May 20th. Yes, May 20th, 200 plus films. It's just $8 to watch an individual film and we have some of the hottest films of the year. Well, Jonathan, speaking of those films, I'm going to put you on the spot. I want you to name a couple of your favorites, some things that we definitely do not want to miss. Well, that's uh, always a pleasure for me to do. I'll point right away to a film, The Dry. It's always exciting to feature world-class actors in film festivals, and Eric Bana is the star of this Australian-made movie that is likely going to go down as the biggest film in Australian box office history. It's gonna come to the States later this summer, and it's a mystery thriller that keeps you on the edge of your seat. It follows him as a cop in Melbourne who returns to his small town and gets twisted up inside of a mystery thriller. Wow. Sounds I would also I would also love to point to some kind of heaven. See, at the festival we have such a deep variety of films in the festival really something for everyone. And Some Kind of Heaven is a documentary. Documentaries are just as popular at the festival as fiction films. And this film is a beautifully filmed documentary uh, centered on four people living in the largest retirement community in the world, the villages in Florida. Mm -hmm. I, I can best describe the villages after watching the film as a cruise ship stranded on land with 130,000 passengers all in Central Florida. Really an incredible reveal about this community that many of us had heard so much about. But speaking awesome. of so many... All right, so Jonathan, now before we're out of time, it is so important now that you've whet everybody's appetite, how can we watch at home? What do we need to do? Well, it's super simple, and that's the great thing about this. Our website is critical, mkefilm.org. You go there and you just Browse the films, pick a film. It's $8 a film, cheaper than if we are in person, and you can watch it right there. But better than that, follow our instructions and you can download our app and watch it literally on your TV, on Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, Roku, so many different platforms. And it's just as seamless as watching a film on any streaming service. And I just have to say, we have great movies for families. I have two kids myself, Ella and Owen, and we love to watch the size shorts programs in the festival yes. as young as three plus all the way up to 10 plus in ages. Jonathan Jackson, you are a treat. You've got us covered this year. Thank you very much oh, for joining us. <laughs> my pleasure.